here we got Jasmine. Uh, we are uh, basically 390. Uh, I mean, 3090. Uh, it is a three cents. Uh, the price exactly is 3095. Uh, I want you to take a look at what's going on right here. I mean, honestly, honestly, honestly. How can you look at something that looks like this and be bearish on Jasmine? All right. How can you look at this weekly? Remember, this is a weekly time frame right here. This is not a daily. This is not a this is not a one hour. This is not a two minutes. It's not the 15 minutes. This is a weekly. Right? This is a higher time frame. So how could you look at this chart and not be excited and not be bullish on this project? And not try to accumulate as much as you can. Right? How can you look at Jasmine? You know, consolidating in a bullish pattern. All right, this is a bullish consolidation right here. And not take advantage of the consolidation. Right? I mean, honestly, guys, how could you? Right? These are the conversations that we were having in these last couple of weeks. How could you look at Jasmine going sideways in a bullish in a bullish pattern and not try to take advantage of the situation? And when we were going sideways, and many of you were super, 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 super frustrated. I mean, I told you that this was, you know, something to accumulate, all right? This was the opportunity to take advantage of. And I was absolutely right, all right? I was absolutely right. Recently, there was a comment for one of my Jasmine updates. And, you know, the person was talking about a double top, all right? How could you be bullish when we're looking at a double top? And I told you guys that this was not a double top. What this was, it was a continuation of the bigger uptrend, all right? So higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. And now we finally have a higher high. All right, something that I have been talking about these last couple of weeks. All you got to do, guys, all right, you don't have to take my words. Some of you brand new here, uh, but most of you have been here for you know, a very long time. These are many of my Jasmine updates. The conversation that we're having right now, I mean, take a look at this, guys. This is from two weeks, uh, from two days ago. The conversation that we're having right now is exactly the conversation that we've been having over these last couple of weeks. This is from eight days ago. All right. I mean, I'm telling you that we are literally nearing a big pump that is finally going to break out. I mean, look at the look at the pattern. All right. Take a look at what's actually going on right here. You know, if you look at many of these updates, I mean, look at this right here, guys. You know, I was talking about, you know, the breakout, that a breakout is coming. A breakout is coming. And I'm showing you guys, all right, literally, you know, different ways why I'm bullish on Jasmine. Like, I'm showing you, you know, a bullish Jasmine from a different angle. You know, I'm doing everything that I can to show you that this thing is about to pop. All right? And I was absolutely right. So this was never a double top. This move right here is a continuation of the bigger uptrend, all right? There was nothing that was, you know, signaling that this was a double top. So anyways, going back to the daily, I mean, this is a beauty right here, guys. I've been talking about how you, you know, want the chart of your favorite project to look like. It needs to look exactly like this. All right. When Jasmine, look, when Jasmine was back here, when we were back here in this box, I showed you a couple examples. I showed you that we needed Jasmine to look like this. Uh, let me get rid of that. You know, that we needed Jasmine to look like this. We needed Jasmine to look like this right here. All right. I mean, simply pull, guys. White line above the blue line, blue line above the green line, price above the white line. All right. Very simple. Simple and straightforward. So that's exactly what Jasmine looks like. 
Finally. All right. It is exactly what Jasmine looks like. I mean, take a look at this. White line above the blue line, blue line above the green, price above the white line. Price of Jasmine is going up in a bullish pattern. Higher highs, higher lows. All right. This is what this is what's going on right now. All right. Every pullback, the low is higher than the previous one. So these lows are going to be higher than these previous lows. Higher than the previous one. Higher than the previous one. All right. That is what a bullish pattern looks like. So there was never, all right, there was never a reason, you know, throughout this big pullback, all right, to worry about Jasmine. The only time you worry about Jasmine is if we come all the way down and we take out these lows right here. All right, this is where you say, wait a minute, this, is, does, this doesn't look bullish. You know, we now have a, a new low, all right? That becomes a new low, all right? But if you don't have that, you know, if you don't have this, if this is not broken, you remain bullish, all right? You have to remain bullish. Uh, stop trying to, you know, stop trying to go against the trend. The trend is not just your friend. It is literally your best friend. The trend, guys, is, is perfectly fine. You know, it's perfectly fine to be bearish on something when something is actually bearish. But when you have a pullback during an uptrend, that is not the time to be bearish. What that is, is, oh, this is an opportunity for me to add more to my position. That is what it's all about, right? When the chart is going up, when the chart is bullish and you get a pullback, it's not the time to be bearish. It is the time to say, you know, wait a minute. This is a fantastic opportunity. You know, I've been wanting a pullback. Finally, I'm getting a pullback. Now I need to finally add back to my position. Right? It's not the time to panic. It is not the time to ask, you know, what is going on? Is this the end of the move? Is this the end of the bull market? Uh, we don't have, there is no sign of that. Right? There is no sign of that. The good thing is, this is the end of May. All right, my prediction has always been the cryptocurrency market was going to start pumping towards the, uh, was going to start pumping towards the end of May and early June. And my thesis has played out exactly. Now, there's a lot of laggers, but the most obvious ones, you know, the winners, the ones that have outperformed Bitcoin, the ones that continue to outperform, you know, Bitcoin have already recovered. All right, Jasmine is up, I believe, more than 100% from the lows of its pullback. So if you go from right here all the way up, it is up more than 100%. All right. So great projects have already recovered. And I've told you guys that the ones are going to continue to win. All right. Are the same projects that were winning throughout the beginning of this bull market. And the ones that are going to continue to lose are the same projects. All right. Are the same projects that are continuing to underperform Bitcoin, that are continuing to underperform the market since the beginning of the bull market. And if you have any of those projects in your portfolio, maybe this is the time to say, you know what? You know, I need to try something else. Maybe this is the time to, you know, to finally pivot. All right, do not get married to any of your bags, guys, especially when it comes to the altcoin market. Do not get married to any of them. All right. If, if it's not moving, if it's not making you money, go with something else that's actually working. All right. One of my biggest mistakes was, you know, holding on to Polkadot for too long. That was one of my biggest mistakes for the first phase of this bull market. But finally, you know, many weeks ago, I decided to just part ways with Polkadot. I got into something else and it's, you know, it's finally working. All right. I picked up TrueFi. I mean, look at the performance of TrueFi and look at the performance of Polkadot. I mean, I absolutely made the right decision. So anyways, congratulations uh, to all you Jasmine holders. But 
this is only the beginning guys i mean honestly this is only the beginning and to give you some targets you know i can get rid of these emas right here uh to give you some targets i mean we're going straight to five cents basically uh, this weekly move is going to take us to five cents you know somewhere around here and after that you know i'm looking at eight cents right here and after that i'm looking at you know basically 10 cents so these are my next three targets so if you go from the lows of the pullback you know all the way up to five cents uh this is over a 200 percent move you know up to eight cents this is over a 400% move up to, you know, 10 cents. This is, you know, over a 500% move. So, you know, if you look at many of my Jasmine updates, you know, I have been predicting that they, we are going to do a 10x from the lows of the pullback. So if you think about, yeah, if, if you watch any of, you know, these updates right here, uh, I was talking about that. Like, look at this one right here. I'm talking about a 300% move. All right, and some of you, you think these are clickbaiting. These are not clickbaiting. These are real targets that I'm literally looking at. So if you think about a 10X from the lows of this pullback, I mean, that puts us, you know, somewhere around, somewhere around 17 cents, guys. You know, not even at my 20 cents and 30 cents target. So just think about that. All right, just think about that for a minute. If you bought the pullback, uh, let's say your average price is somewhere around 2 cents. You know, you are literally going to do a 10x, you know, when Jasmine gets around, you know, 22 cents. And this is, you know, very, very achievable. Low market cap. All right. Great project with a very big, you know, community. Very exciting times, you know, very exciting times. Uh, how about, do I, yeah, do I think Jasmine's going to a dollar? I mean, maybe but i'm just i'm not as i'm not as bullish as you guys you know i'm not as bullish as you guys but maybe the reason i'm not as bullish as you guys is because you know my average price is literally guys i mean i've shared this with all of you my average price is somewhere around here like this is where my average price is because i, I took advantage of you know 2022 and 2023 so my average price is here you know somewhere in here when Jasmine is around 20 cents, or I mean, honestly, even around 10 cents, like, I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, if I decide to just, you know, take my entire profits because, I mean, let's do the math, guys. This is a quick math right here. So if we go from down here, you know, all the way up to 10 cents, I mean, at 5 cents, I'm, more, I'm already up 10x. And if we go all the way up to 10 cents, you know, I'm already up 20x. All right, if we push all the way up to, you know, 15 cents, you know, I'm already up, you know, 30x. If we push all the way up to 20 cents, then I'm, all, I'm already up 40x. This is the power of getting in early. All right, when you're in early, you know, you don't have to wait for these ridiculous targets. So can Jasmine go to a dollar? Maybe yes. But, you know, if you got in early, you don't need to wait for a dollar Jasmine. Uh, what you do is, you know, you get to a place where, you know, the risk is no longer in your favor and you have to take profits. You know, that is what it's all about. All right. Risk management.